Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to this Till First Death, attempt number one at Rad, where things have been going pretty well. You can see we've become a cobra, centaur, wood beast monstrosity, but we're still on our search for a new power source for our post-post-apocalyptic community. So we're here in the second map, and we've got to find, I guess, another two of those statues. This is a new area down here. So things are looking a little rough. You know, we don't have too much health, but better than they were. Hopefully we can at least tough this out for another boss. Okay, these guys are tough. And more importantly... Okay, couldn't dash through him. Turns out... The, uh, the strafe dash does not let you go through enemies. I was gonna say, this guy attacks pretty quickly, so... Gotta be especially careful. We have a lot of tapes right now. Alright. So, I suppose this is one thing that's a little bit of a pain, is now we have to figure out what part of the map I haven't already been to. Because the underground didn't seem to lead anywhere that we haven't been yet. Nope. Uh, it looks like the last one is actually just up here. That we passed it entirely at the start. Is that an enemy up there? Activate that yet? We got some bats. Way forward is open. Okay, so now we could go fight the boss, but I would like to at least get a little bit of health back if possible. I'm gonna guess I can't just teleport back to... Yeah, we can't go back to the hub willy-nilly. That would be too easy. I know this guy didn't have any healing. Hey, oh. I wonder if I could deposit stuff once we unlock the platinum membership here. If that's actually a thing. Hmm. I mean, this would be a useful mutation. Extra crit chance. Mutation. Your hackles are up. You have a higher crit frequency. I wonder if that only applies to the bat, though. I'm guessing when it goes all sparkly electric, that's a crit. Or maybe it's only when it flashes. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm not really sure there's anywhere else we can go. There was a chest up there we already got. There was... What was this over here? There's something indicated on the map here. Oh, there's a door. Well, we haven't been in here yet. Oh, this is a very I tight never camera. Heard much about the caves, because those who went in never made it back out. Well, that's not ominous at all. Paused. I was hoping we get a closer look at us in here. Loin. All right, we got some loin. If we had fire, we could make it better, but we don't. So we just got to take it raw. That guy's gonna explode. Meat. Ooh. This actually seems to be a good thing to have discovered. We're getting plenty of meat. Okay. That stab slug tried to sneak up on me. Ugh. Stepped in the goop. I have to make sure when I'm trying to dodge that I let go of the stick. Because we do get like a better iframe dodge without aiming. 
Okay. So this seems like an area with more enemies and more dangerous enemies, but... Okay. He hit me without actually doing anything. He just turned around. Goddamn contact damage. But we might be able to get our health back. I kind of am back where I started. Alright, got another loin. That needs three, so that's a big old chest. Okay, we're gonna have like a big treasure room in here somewhere. God damn it. The desaturation in here actually does make it a little harder to see attacks, but I think that's intentional. <laughs> Oops. I'm trying to remember. Okay, it's right bumper to do our root ability. Moolah. Which is useful, because it means I can't turn around. Alright. If I can get this guy... Shit. So, if I get anywhere near that front, I'm gonna take damage. Those spikes are always dangerous. This is a very big optional area. <laughs> Floppy acquired. Okay. They can still attack when they're rooted, they just can't turn or move. So you can't get in front of them. Cash. Alright. It just keeps going. I thought that was an explosive. Pretty sure I can use this guy to attack other enemies, though. Ooh, that was like ribs. That was two health. Ah, oh, I got slowed. Managed to root him and beat him without stepping in his coop. Gravy. So we got a chest here that requires two. I'm hoping we'll find some more floppies in here. But yeah, it's neat that there is essentially a whole optional area to go into if you want to try and get more loot. And as long as we come out of this with more health than we started, I think we'll be doing all right. Yeah, we might have explored most of this now. Nope. I was worried I was going to step into lava goop. There we go. Dinero. Now we got a nice big meat, and we're almost at full health. And we have enough to open that big chest if we want, which we should probably see what's in there, right? See if they're worth it for future runs. Okay. I mean, it is worth fighting enemies to get those 
you know, floppies and uh, tapes. Hard cash. We can ignore ground fire because we got that one mutation. I wonder, does it does it track your mutations? Hmm. It does seem to track your mutations overall, but not your current ones. You just have to remember what they are at the bottom. Pause. Or let's see, what is Tome of the Ancients? Tome of the Ancients. Yeah, this also just lists everything, so nope. I guess Mutations is just the ones we have currently. Alright, so we seem to have cleared out this cave now, except for this side. So I think we can just grab the chest and go at this point. Alright, please be something good. Unlocked! Mutation shot, mutation power. Your body will surge with power, increasing damage done by mutations. Oh, that's good for a cobra head. Endo mutation acquired. Time to get swole. Bills. We didn't actually go into this little corner here, but it's just one enemy. <laughs> I think we're ready for the boss now. We've stocked up a little bit more on health, and we got stronger. So I wonder how long an average run is supposed to take, because, you know, the first episode was 45 minutes, and we only really completed one and a third map. Ooh, that's a big fella. Badonk. I mean, he's called the Donk, but he doesn't really have a, much of a Badonk going on. Ooh. Our Cobra had one shots the bats now. Oh, actually, we can just walk in this because of our mutation. So that actually kind of makes this boss a lot easier. <laughs> Hitting him with my cobra head. Hmm. Not sure if the bat does more damage still. I think with the crit, the bat will still do more damage than the cobra head. Alright, another heart upgrade. Killer! Heart so good. Kill streak times four. I'm not sure exactly what that would refer to. I guess probably just because we killed a bunch of those bats. Bat to bat. And we don't have a floppy for that. Alright, well that was pretty easy. We kind of had just the right mutation for that. I wonder if the option here is either go back to town or go to the next area. Because we went through here last time and it did teleport us back. Spend tapes to upgrade Shermie's shop. As you absorb more rads, you will continue to mutate, but do not fret, for it is the key to our survival. But nobody else wants to do it. Your legs are... different. I've seen you around, kid. Yeah, okay, we talked to Shermie. We could buy this, I guess. It's only eight tapes. Juicy! What's up, crazy legs? <laughs> I like how there's a, like, mall map here. Are we in the remains of a mall? <laughs> bah! Rude. I mean, he's got the, the legs, too, so I guess he's not that rude. Yeah, I don't think we need to do anything else here. Loading. A and X for a more powerful something. 
Hold X to begin charging a spin attack. These are all things I should have known before we started. The hollow forest all right, was world where the two. Men built their temples before it all went gnarly. Yeah, like, why would it not tell me that these are things I could do <laughs> outside the tooltips? Okay. Those are exploding plants. Some kind of beetle coming at me. So our Cobra Head has still been kind of our most useful mutation. That's a pretty quick AoE, and I don't think I could have predicted that would happen. Well, we're getting close to another mutation. So far, I've been digging all the tracks to this, though. Like, it's just got a generally good, funky soundtrack. Okay. I actually didn't think that would explode if I got near it. I should have, though, because it was hazard marked. Ooh, what's this? Transfigured were nomads and outcasts, but not because they wanted to be. We were just really mean to them because they had weird mutant heads. This guy's like a fish man. I don't talk to basic people. Come back when you're platinum, pal. Fuck off, terminal. Feel free to examine my treasures. Juice cleanse. Flush bad things from your body, like deformed mutations. So I wonder if some of our mutations can come out a little wrong. Everybody wants to sell his crit juice. But, like, it doesn't seem that useful. I guess we could use it on a boss. Or a mini-boss. security in place to try and keep the muties out. But it didn't work. Ooh, that's a turret. Bling, bling. I wonder if... Like, do these open this door here? Yeah, we gotta find terminals and activate them. And I assume they all have a gun around them. Hmm. Kind of every enemy here looks like it's going to explode, so that's why I always try to roll away. <laughs> That thing, that'll have some good juice for us. Wow, my head does so much damage. Spills. We're so close to mutating again. Okay, so we activate this. Oh, these ones are blue though. Okay, so this is a whole mechanic for this area. Some of these don't seem to be near anything though. Like this one doesn't have a probably attached to this one. Mutation Hold on, gotta mutate up. again. Okay, so mutations can level up. They don't just get replaced or added. <laughs> I like how colorful this area is. I mean, this whole game's colorful, but this area especially seems to be more so than the previous one. I think that did two hearts of damage. <laughs> gotta be careful around those guys. Oh, we also got a sewer here, or a bunker or something that we can open. Sure, let's check it out. This is a first run, so, you know. I want to try out everything once to see what it does and if it's worth doing later. Some of the ancients dug down below to get away from the glow. 
It didn't work. What is that? Oh, it's a tree man. Okay, I thought it was just like a pile of sludge. Mookie. Mookie. It is Kismet that we find ourselves together in this forgotten underground hidey hole. I was scouring this place for provisions, but could not open the hatch and now have eaten most of my findings. You have freed me. For that, I thank you. Here is a token of my thanks. I don't know why I was reading that like it was from Red <laughs> Penumbra. We found some very tasty mousy morsels down here below. <laughs> Alright, give me a healing potion. Is that one right there? Kinda looked like there was one back there. So yeah, there does seem like a decent amount of different stuff for you to encounter in these maps. It's not just like fight enemies, open doors. Which is important for a roguelite run-based game like this. There needs to be variety every time. This requires... Okay, this is the boss door. I was gonna say, this requires, uh... Something. I'm gonna say that the charge is really not a very useful ability. I mean, it's good for running away. But it's not very good for just combat. Legal tender. Hmm. Can guess these will hurt me on contact. Ooh, that's a big mushroom. Let's not get hit by these guys. Very basic AoE that I kept falling for last time. Okay. Another grove. I mean, we get very little mutation points at this point, so I don't think we're going to mutate too much more from that. We'll have to get more of the injectable mutations. So, is this not actually anything? It's marked on the map as something. Doesn't seem to be the skull we need, though. What did I get hit by there? I walked past that bear trap, like right here, and it hit me. Well, that sucks. Right, we seem to have cleared out this side of the map. Because I'm not seeing anything else. We can jump to from here. We're probably gonna need to find an underground path to continue. Which we should have opened up by now. This guy can't even hurt us, I just realized, because he uses fire. Fire? I was born from this. Okay, that appears to be a door that just leads into a wall. Ooh. Those thorns are bad, these ones are not. Oh, you can just destroy them. Well, that makes it a lot easier to avoid them. I thought they were just permanent hazards like the goop in the last level. What's this? This is new. We didn't know what all those machines did, but the kids found ways to use them to get stronger. So this didn't just upgrade us, it gave us like a super upgrade for our Cobra. And now we have real long range. Wow. That's pretty cool. It looks a little different. It's turned blue now. I 
have to get used to this new range. Bring back. Okay, we got some health back from that first enemy we killed. Ooh, armor. Someone could even change the weather. Uh, okay. Is that something we can do right here? Hmm. So that looks like the respirator, but it hasn't actually activated yet, so maybe we have to go to the surface and activate it again. Open! What's this? Defibriton. Every time you mutate, this mender injects injector will stab heals into your heart. Acquired. Okay, so that's another type of collectible we can get here to get some buffs. So yeah, I am definitely digging this. Like I said last time, it's a little simple from moment to moment, but there's a lot of stuff going on here to pick up and change your run. Ooh, okay. Very little warning of that. should have moved as soon as it made a charging up sound. So that just made it pop out of the ground and now it's active. I'm guessing that other skull we saw is the other one we need to activate, which will probably be under the blue door. So I wonder how many worlds there is before you hit, you know, a final boss. I'm gonna guess at least three. Okay, a lot of enemies in here. The charge does seem kind of okay when they're all lined up like that. Key acquired. I'm just wondering too, like, are some of the other head mutations going to be nearly as useful as this Cobra? Because this Cobra has been, like, the run. This is the Cobra run. Okay, this will heal us as well. Endo mutation. Truffle Pig. Root out hidden fruit with increased olfactory senses. That did not actually appear to heal me. Maybe it only heals you when you max out your meter. Paused. We don't seem like we have a pig snoot. Which is surprising. Also, still have that superhuman torso, which just looks very weird now. It stands out all the more because we're so mutated. <laughs> So the root mutation hasn't been too handy. In fact, it just got me hit there. I very nearly walked into the goop. Come back! Green back. It says survival bonus, but like, what does that actually multiply? Is it just the amount of tapes we get? Okay, we'll activate that one. Can I even get in this room? That's a lot of goop. Bankroll. Jump over it, I guess. Cool. I'm glad I came back here for one enemy. <laughs> Not even a chest. Alright. There's also an area over here. Check this out, and then I guess we'll have another boss. 
So yeah, this is going mostly smoothly. Seems like as we're getting further in, enemies are doing multiple hearts per hit, or multiple Unlocked. segments. Mutation Shot Beefcake. Your bat arm grows an extra muscle, adding more damage to your bat attacks. That's a good upgrade. Endo Mutation. Notebook. I want to see if we actually have one beefy arm. No, it looks the same. So there isn't just an endless amount of visual changes to your character model as you mutate. Just the really significant ones. But still, now our bat is actually going to be worth using as well. The way forward is open. Hard cash. All right. There's some meat there. So, it looks like the boss always has, like, a chest. I can't believe I just did that again. I was gonna say the boss has a chest in their boss room, so I think that's actually hell. Hey, day. Most of the time. Unfortunately, we don't have a key. We only have lots and lots of moolah. So what is this? Because it is marked on the map as something important. It just doesn't seem to do anything. So I think we've explored everywhere we can go now. I can't believe I just almost ran into the goop again. I'm like goop blind. Yeah, it looks like we've seen all this. So... I guess we just go for the boss. This might be the end of the run. Oh, what's this? Fruit. Okay, so if we see green sparkles with that truffle pig, we can dig up a fruit and get some health back. Kind of feel like I should run around and just look for those real quick. Hmm. The particle effect looks kind of the same, though, when I'm running around. What do we got? Anything? I'm gonna guess there's not very many though, because otherwise that would be a really like easy mode ability. Well, I mean none of the bosses have been particularly hard. I do like as we're going, we're kind of like spreading this new growth. We're bringing life to the wasteland. Paused. One goofy mutation at a time. Alright, what do we got this time? Alpha mutants. A scorpion. This is, seems more like a mini boss than a real boss. Kaching. But maybe that's because we're on the first, you know, the first floor of this biome. So we only get a mini boss instead of a full boss. Ooh, spin attack. Okay. Was not prepared for that. I have that too. You are rad. You are rad. Heart split. But I am really surprised how I'm not Doesn't dead yet <laughs> on this first run. I don't know if I'm just really lucky, or this game is not as tough as some of its contemporaries. Alright, now we have a shit ton of tapes. So let's see if we can do anything with them back here. sit up. Okay, we got another diet health potion. It did say that if we keep spending money here, it will upgrade. Where's that music coming from? You're totally having a bad leg day. I don't know, these legs have been pretty handy. 
What is this? This seems like something we'll need to open later. Maybe that's where we put our power source once we've beaten the run. So, it seems like... Okay, I was gonna say, it seems like you can't actually deposit certain amounts, but... I'll keep a hundred and leave the rest in there. Oh, we're platinum now. I wonder if that only lasts until... <laughs> Check out these gems. I, I don't know what I'm checking out. I suppose there's not really much else I can do except go to the shop. <laughs> Loading. So who knows? Maybe we'll finish. We'll finish a run in the first attempt. It would be nice to at least, you know, in one of these till first death videos, finish a run. Because I think the only one I've had that was completely successful was projects or not Project Zomboid. Uh organ trail where I did actually make it to the end but so far I think every other till first death I've done I have died without reaching the, the goal I'm hoping we'll beat world of horror one of these times as well because that seems doable okay this one's busted is that going to give us a shitty mutation then maybe we don't take that one blue thing in there. Floppy. Getting stuck on these random pieces of wall. Oh. Cheddar. Might as well use that as soon as I find it. Until we get back to full health. If we ever get back to full health again. Okay, so this one also needs three. Hard cat. I thought that was an enemy, but it was just spikes. Ah, damn it. I stepped in the spikes. Man, these guys are just like shelling me from above. Whose house is this? This is a chicken man. You are different, but special. You will feel no shame amongst the transfigured. Or is that also a fish? Prefer to bank pack, transfers all your tapes to the bank when you die. Or base boost boombox, extra base shakes, even more tapes loose. And that's really expensive. I always buy the floppies. Just like the keys in Isaac, you always need more of them. No, oh, come back here. Even from down there, he's still hitting me accurately. <laughs> Shield guys seem to be non-hostile. They just try to run away from you. Extermination. 
I'm trying to hit this without taking damage. <laughs> I mean, we do seem to be running into the same enemies now, but they're like stronger versions. Horsepower boost. Unlimited beast mode charges for a short period. That doesn't sound super useful, but I'll take it, I guess. In case you just need to really go fast. Okay, we've already been here. I haven't fallen off yet, so I still don't know what that does. That bear trap, I'm very cautious about it because of the one that I randomly took damage from. Okay, so there's nothing useful here. The big fella down there, but we don't need to jump down there yet. Let's go inside. Stay near these guys because they do have an AoE. Okay, more enemies there. This is another broken door. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't go anywhere. Randomly generated doors. I mean, we do seem to be pretty radically powerful now. I don't know if any mutant can stand against us. I say, but then I'm almost dead, so... Power comes at a price. Overconfidence. Like how I almost just stepped on those poison vines. Okay, that's another dead end. I do feel, though, that if we beat this game in this run, then maybe <laughs> I don't need to come back to it because we'll already have seen a big chunk of it. Who knows? Maybe I'll die right at the end. All right, now it's raining. They did say that those respirators can cause changes in the weather. There's the exit, and now we have to worry about lightning hazards. Also, I'm glad that my snake head can attack up ledges without having to go up there. Because otherwise, those guys would be a lot harder to deal with. Okay, waterproof. Suffer no effects from toxic pools. That would have been handy a long time ago. Hot foot. Makes you immune to damage from ground fires. We already have that. Crit juice. Kind of want to get this, but I don't know if we'll need it anymore. Oh, lightning. What? What did I just take damage from there? It just seems like sometimes I'll just randomly take damage from a hazard that I can't identify. Like, it seemed like this pole is what hit me. So, we have to go down two more doors. I don't know, though. We're back to the danger zone, so maybe this will be it for us. Okay, I ate my fruit. <laughs> that was foolish, though. Death of Bader. Cheat death Artifact. by falling with a minor health penalty. Artifact. So we can only have one of those at a time. 
I'm guessing that means that if I died by jumping off the pit, I would just take damage instead. Alright, let's find out what these do. The Menders used living things inside their machines, and sometimes they could wig out. Yeah, so those seem like they're mutations, but they have a cost, unlike the other ones. So now we have more knockback, I guess? Or we take more knockback? Mutation to the max! Your horns are laced with toxic poison, leaving mutants with residual damage. Okay, so that might actually be good for our charge. We still don't look very different. Oh, we're kind of purple now. That's about it. This is just a pointless dead end. Ooh, okay. Just got caught up in the crossfire. We kind of seem to have a poison heavy build now. Baby needs a new pair of shoes. Mm, I stepped in the goop pool. Maybe I, maybe I should have got that goop mutation after all. Okay, so where does this lead? A bit of health and a trapped chest. I'm kind of hoping there'd be something in that after the trap went off. Alright, so we activate this. Ooh. That's a bad place to be teleported. Kind of feel like I should run away. <laughs> Floppy acquired. I can't even reach those guys up top. I gotta find a way to get up there. Dinero. All right. I think we can survive this. I'm feeling like, like my artifact has not healed me once this whole time, so maybe it's not actually very good. Unlocked. Artifact acquired. What's this? Boombox. I cannot believe that I didn't take damage from that. I just jumped into that bear trap. Okay. And then I fucking jumped into an exploding plant. God damn it. I was just about to say, that went pretty well. There's another cave down there. Okay, so the blue one is the one we didn't go down yet. So I think we'll make it to this boss at least, but <laughs> this might be the end of the run. <laughs> Eh, I'm, I'm good on getting another corrupted mutation. We got a good thing going. Man, so much power in this cobra head. <laughs> bling bling. You are not. God damn it! Sorry. I knew there was, I knew there was a trap there, but I thought there was a room on the other side. So an hour and a half, and now we get our unlocks. So hot sauce heals slowly for a period of time. A new Unlock character granted. style. More meat. Tuck in your bib and remember to pace yourself.
Oh, so that's a quirk. So there is, you know, you mutators we can activate. Mender Scepter. Wield this Mender technology laden rod to reduce cliff teleport damage to one. Reduce floppy lock requirements by one. You that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Put your thumb on the scale for ranged exo mutation. Deep lovers. Multi toxic heart absorbs three toxic attacks. Boy, we got a lot of unlocks for that first run. All right, yeah, so that was rad. I had fun. Uh, it does kind of get a little draggy at parts, just where you're running around looking for the last thing you need, but I had a good time with it. I do love the general presentation of it, the look of the mutations, the soundtrack. So I'm going to say that this might be worth coming back to, but like I said, let me know if you enjoyed it and if you'd like to see another rad run. But until next time, stay radical and see you around.